What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Brad. I do a ton of saltwater fishing, primarily land-based, but a little bit out of the boat. If that is something that you're into, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Spring is finally here. We're about to head out this morning and go try to load up the cooler with some dinner. I'm gonna head on out to the Passing Orange Beach, sling some lead around, and try to get on a bunch of fish. I've heard some good reports, so I think we can make it happen. I'll catch y'all when we get out there. Hopefully about two weeks. We're getting close. We got a few more things to wrap up and then start bringing everything in and getting it all set up. Oh, you're the envy of every fisherman out here. <laughs> Everybody wishes they could make a living sitting here fishing all the time. Yeah. They don't probably realize how tough it can be. It, it's tough. Yeah. That's definitely tough. Put your time in. I fished the pier yesterday, didn't catch nothing. Somebody was just hooked up a second ago. I don't think he landed it, but. The amount of fishermen out here casting gotcha plugs. Yeah. You, you would think. <laughs> golly. I don't fish here very often. I pulled up, I was like, what in the world? Cell phones after Friday, and Lord got out pretty quick. Yeah. This is busier than the pier was yesterday. You look like the guy from the shrimp sucker. Shrimp sucker. Have you seen this, the YouTube? I made a video on making one. Did you? That's what you're at, yeah. I made two of them. Nice. <laughs> I think I titled it that they were 20 bucks. It probably doesn't cost $20 anymore because it was like four years ago. Red truck next to my 64. There he is. Oh, and he spit it. <laughs> like right by the wall. Starting to come through now. Oh! Jesus, Jerry. Hey! Oh! God! Got him! Right here! Nice! Grab my cooler. The Spanish are chewing now. Everybody getting hooked up. Let me grab my cooler and my pliers. They are coming through thick now. Oh, they're trying to swipe it right here at the wall. You can just jig them right now. I know. I'm telling you right now, get that, get that camera rolling, Brad. I want to get out of here with Bill. It's on. It's on. Get him. Got him, baby. <laughs> Whacking him. Oh, it is that. All right, everybody's whacking them on a the gotcha plug, and my little jig here is falling apart, so we're gonna switch it up. I think I got a little gotcha in here. Yeah. We got these gotcha plugs on the website too, and they are money for these Spanish. I'll link it down below. If you wanna pick some up. There he is. Stay on this time, buddy. Sweet. You got that on camera. I got it on camera. Make sure you don't get my brother on camera. <laughs> that won't be good for you. They are aggressive this morning. Oh, there he is. Ah, dang it. Got him. Come on. It's a decent one. Oh, you guys are good. Yeah. Nice when they spit the hook right here. Leader's starting to get frayed a little bit, but I'll just let her ride. I always swiped at it. I always swiped again. <laughs> like we're right here by the wall again. Oh, come on. Come back for it. Came back for it and missed it again. Oh, I think he just cut me off. Got me.
There is. Come on. A Z. Oh, back to back. Feels like a good one too. Come on, buddy. Right there. Oh, there you go. Come on. Oh. Hey, it was a little bitty, anyways. <laughs> yeah. There he is. Oh, there you go. Decent one. Come on. Just swimming in. Get up here, buddy. That's how you pull it in. Yeah. We get armor, but we're not drunk. My kind of guys. There you go. You get that on camera? <laughs> <laughs> sure did. I can't wait to watch this stuff. <laughs> uh, having a good morning. Corky showing up from Wisconsin. Oh, he hit it as soon as it hit the water. Feels like a decent one, too. Come on. Unless I foul hooked him as soon as it hit the water. Definitely a possibility. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Let's see. Foul hook. I hit him right on top of his head. Inside boys. Inside boys. <laughs> We're outside. <laughs> you want to see him? It's called a Spanish mackerel. Oh, He's got really sharp. Oh He's got really sharp teeth. Look at his teeth. Right yeah, touch him down here. Right down there. Right down there. If you want to touch him. It's like when you guys petted the sharks and the manta rays. Yeah. You want to touch it or no? You want to feel them? Oh yeah. Yeah. Is he big enough to keep? Yes, ma'am. Whoa. That looks really slow. <laughs> cool, huh? Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, he got it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we have made it up to the warehouse now. We're going to fry up some of the Spanish. For the guys, we got Beach Bum and we got Brant, and we got a few people in here working as well. So we're gonna fry this up, try to feed everybody some lunch. It's pretty windy out here. It's probably not the safest thing, but we got some cardboard boxes covering the flame, trying to not blow it out. It's already blown out like four or five times. All right, I already got the Spanish cleaned up here. We're gonna toss it in one of these bowls. Those fillets look pretty small, Brad. You sure hey. that's legal? Hey. <laughs> In Alabama, there's no size limit on Spanish. Mm, that's right, that's you right. 15, no size limit. We like it small in Alabama. <laughs> have y'all like ever, different. have either of y'all put mustard on your fish before you fry it? I have not, no. So I got a lot of comments about this and it actually adds some good flavor. So instead of, what's going on over there? <laughs> I actually got a comment yesterday said to do mustard in Louisiana hot sauce yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. So I've tried it, it's pretty good. So that's what we're gonna do. A little bit of mustard on here. Mix it up good. This is you're basically just using the mustard as the binder, opposed to buttermilk or regular milk and an egg, something like that. Don't hate on buttermilk. You could be getting pe people mad in the comments. I have a thing of buttermilk in the in the cooler as okay. well. Because we are gonna soak. We got some pickles too. We're gonna do some fried pickles. We are gonna soak those in some buttermilk. I think we have a fire hazard going on. <laughs> we definitely have. Yeah, that that's gonna catch on fire. Brad, what, yeah, yeah, what lure were the Spanish hitting? Gotcha plug. Gotcha. We sell and those. We, we do have those at Beach We do out have those. I'm having some difficulties here. 
That's a mess right there. I'm covered in mustard, so there we go. We got some uh, Louisiana fish fry. We've got to move all of this stuff. Well, not all of it, but a lot of it. We got to move it to the store tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. We have 24 hours. Yeah. Yeah. This might be a disaster. It's going to be fun. And none of us know what we're doing. None of us know what needs to go, what needs to stay. All right. Give her a little shaky shake. We do have two months retail experience between all of us here. So. Two months? Yeah. That's pretty good. I worked at Academy Sports and Outdoors. You're two, when I was you're two months and mine and Matt's zero. <laughs> That's all right. We have finally started to hire some people. We just did an interview today. Had some pretty good candidates in there. So we're getting us some good help around here. All right. Now, I'm going to wash my hands real quick. <laughs> so now we're going to fry some pickles here. I'm going to take them out. I am going to put them in some buttermilk. Let them soak for a second. I love pickles. You like pickles? You said you don't like pickles, but you like fried pickles. Yeah, I mean, I, I'd eat one, but I like them better fried. Yeah. I like Wickles. Everything. You ever had Wickles? I have had Wickles. Dude, I love Wickles. Wickles is like a mix between a, a regular dill pickle and like a... It's spicy. A but they do have some sweetness yeah, to them. Yeah, yeah. Bread like a bread and butter, yeah. I think we need more fried pickles. More? Yeah. yeah. I'm more of a dill pickle, not sweet pickle. Me too. I, I I'm not big on sweet pickles. I do not like sweet pickles. Mm -hmm. I like salty. <laughs> 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 yeah, why are those all chopped up? I like the whole ones. Oh, did you just <laughs> drink that? <laughs> Pickle juice is actually really good for you. It is. If you are hungover, is. there's a lot of good hydration in there. If you wake up hungover, drink some pickle juice. I guarantee it's going to help. <laughs> or make you puke. Or, or make you puke. All right, we do have the buttermilk that Matt thinks smells weird. Does that smell weird? Does it smell the same, that vinegary smell? Yeah. Phew. Nah, I so. smell pickles too. Because your hands. Yeah, my hands. All right, so we're going to let those soak in here for a minute. Need to check the temp on our oil. Whatever our thermometer is. We just got crap laying all over the place. All right, guys, we got the oil up the temp here. I'm gonna drop some of the Spanish down in the hot grease. And neither one of them have ever had fried Spanish. And it's probably one of my favorites. It is I delicious. I probably fish. have. I just don't remember it. But it's been a long time. I usually bake Spanish or make a dip out of it. Yeah. Like Spanish or king fish dip is very good. That's one way to roll it. Double up on the dollies there. <laughs> I saw someone doing this video the other day and I was like, you pretty much only go straight though. Yeah, it looks <laughs> yeah. a little sketch. Well, lunch is ready. We got the Spanish and some fried pickles. Fried pickles are one of my favorites. Although I forgot to get some ranch. I should have got the ranch for the fried pickle. What do you think? It's really good. A little Spanish, a little ketchup. I do prefer tartar sauce. Yeah, well I didn't get any sauce. Yeah. I, I forgot about sauces. And I usually do have sauces. Every time I cook on the channel, we always have some sort of it's sauce. It's super fresh. It was caught this morning. What is it? It's 12 o'clock, I caught them around seven good stuff so bro. just a few hours ago fresh fresh spanish oh shut up my watch Those thinks i'm hot. talking to her Pickles. going in for some spanish here mm. i already ate some it's delicious you like it it's good so you don't mm -hmm. like ranch you don't any, like any kind of white sauce any white creamy mm -hmm. substance <laughs> Emily, you want to come try some Spanish? Oh, I don't eat fish. Oh, man. But I'll try We got pickles. They're, they might still be hot. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for them to All right, give the pickle a try. I'm very excited about these. They're still hot. I bet it is. Ooh. It just came out a second ago. Yeah, it was good, though. I'll go in for it, too. Mm. It's definitely so hot. Those would be so good with ranch. What, why are they spicy? The seasoning had a little bit of spice. Oh, okay. Yeah, we might have to run to McDonald's and get some ranch. Dude, go get some sauces. All right, I'm going to McDonald's. Well, they're complaining about not having sauce. The warehouse is right next to McDonald's. 
We're gonna run over here next door, see if we can get some ranch, maybe some honey mustard. I really like McDonald's hot mustard too. Very good. Well, we made it back with some ranch, which you don't even like. Did you have to pay for it? No. Described it. <laughs> she was like, um, I was like, can I get five ranches? She was like, did you buy anything? I was like, no. I was like, but I can pay for it. She was like, let me go check with the manager. What? And she's like, you can just have it. <laughs> they looked at me like I was crazy. Oh yeah, Chick-fil-A would not have done that. <laughs> Well, you think they would have made me pay for it? No, too late. Or they like, would have just been nice. They would have been like, yeah, they would give me like 20. Yeah, <laughs> only five. So now we're gonna do a pickle with the ranch. <laughs> Gross. Mmm. It is so delicious. <laughs> I can kind of understand how you don't like mayonnaise, because mayonnaise is just like Gross. fat. But there's so much flavor in ranch. No, no bueno. Everybody in the world likes ranch. Do you like ranch? Oh yeah. Blue cheese? I don't like blue cheese. You, you probably don't like that either. I like the seasoning. Yeah. That's it's not got a nice typical. kick to it. Yeah. It's not it's your delicious. typical. Have you had fried Spanish? Mm-mm. No? I bake it usually. Okay. That's what Brant said too. Maybe I'm crazy for always frying Spanish. No, that's really good. I don't know. I like Spanish mackerel. White. Like not much yeah. to it. It's good. Very good. Yeah, it is pretty good product. It's cooked well, too. Nice crisp rye. Heck yeah. yeah. So you can't leave us. You gotta stick around so you can beam around for more catch and cook. Uh -huh. I was literally just thinking that. I yeah, I know, think, man. Mm, miss this. You're gonna miss out. Where are you gonna go to work when you go back to Tampa, huh? I'm not working for a month at least. <laughs> Take some time I'm off. Fishing. I don't blame you. All right, Brent, we got your ranch. Sweet. See if you like it better this time. I, 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 it's as good, but I think the pickles by actually by themselves are just as good. Nice. They're yeah. spicy, man. Yeah. yeah. The that, pickles are spicier than the fish. It's yeah. the same seasoning. It's weird. I'm sure the fish just absorbed it a little more. Well, that is going to wrap up today's video. We do have a ton of gotcha plugs on the website. I'll have them linked down below. They are definitely the best lure to catch Spanish. So if you're coming down on vacation, you want to catch some, make sure you pick up some gotcha plugs. But now we are getting ready to move a lot of this inventory down to the retail location tomorrow. So we're trying to get everything organized, get everything set up for the grand opening, which is April 28th through 30th. So make sure you come on down, check it out and come enjoy the party. But I appreciate it, guys. I'll catch y'all in the next one.